in a straight jacket. Well, you'll be happy to know, I'm sure, that they just did a sex survey and they found out that American men have sex on the average of two to three times a week, right? But Japanese men have sex on the average of two to three times a year. And I got a lot of friends who are really pissed off. They never knew they were Japanese. <laughs> How many people are dog lovers here? Yeah. Well, I, uh, my veterinarian has a, is also a taxidermist. Yeah. He's got a big sign in his office. It says, either way, you get your dog back. Oh. Uh, I, I was in Eisenhower Park uh, a couple of weeks ago, and these two guys are walking along. They see this big dog lying on his back, licking his genitals. One guy said to the other, boy, I wish I could do that. His friend says, I'll hold his head down so he doesn't bite you. You are a sick bunch. <laughs> well, as long as we're talking about dogs, uh, I'll tell you one of my favorite dog stories. Is a Chihuahua Schnauzer and a Great Dane at the vet. Chihuahua says to the Schnauzer, "What are you here for?" He says, "I've been peeing all over the house. My owner's not happy. They're going to put me to sleep." Schnauzer says to the Chihuahua, "What are you here for?" He says, well, "I've been tearing up the carpeting and the drapes. My owner's not happy. They're going to put me to sleep too." So they say to the Great Dane, what are you here for? The Great Dane says, my owner is a beautiful woman. She was getting out of the shower the other day. I was lying on the floor, looking at her beautiful body dripping wet. As she gets out of the shower, I couldn't control myself anymore. I got up behind her, bent her over, put my paws around her breasts, and I had my way with her. Schnauzer says, I guess they're going to put you to sleep too. He says, no, I'm here to get my nails clipped. <laughs> You know, uh, doing the doing this comedy stuff, we do a lot of traveling around. And uh, I was with some comedians going up to the Poconos to do a show. And we had some time to kill, so we stopped at a strip club. As we're sitting at the strip club, the stripper comes over to the table. My friend starts putting Monopoly money in her G-string. She looks at me and says, excuse me, sir, that's fake money. She says, those are fake tits. <laughs> And then we went to another strip club that had probably the ugliest strippers I've ever seen. And the stripper goes over to my friend and says, what would you like me to take off? He said, my glasses. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you a little bit, little bit about me. I am uh, recently widowed, if everything goes according to plan. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. I, had a, I had a really rough marriage. I don't even remember my wife's name. I just know her as plaintiff. <laughs> I remember coming down for breakfast one morning, she was boiling eggs, and she said, quick, Les, you have to make love to me right away. So I grabbed her, put her on the table, made love to her, got done, I said, what was that all about? She said, the egg timer broke. <laughs> I even installed strobe lights in the bedroom just to make it look like she was moving. Why don't we go away for a nice romantic weekend? We go away, get a nice room, nice view. As soon as we get in the room, screaming and fighting with each other. I go to the phone, I call down on the front desk. I said, uh, you gotta send someone up to the room right away. My wife and I are having this terrible fight. She's threatening to jump out the window. The guy at the front desk says, I'm sorry, sir, that's a personal problem. I said, no, you idiot, it's a maintenance problem. The window won't open. <laughs> Things got so bad I wanted to drown my troubles, but I couldn't get them to go swimming. Do <laughs> we have any single people here? Yeah, a whole bunch of single people? Well, you know, what's the best thing that's happened to all of us single people? The internet, right? You got all the dating sites. You got Match.com, you got JDate, you got Plenty of Fish. All the great dating sites. I've had some great dates off the internet. 
Recently I had a blind date. She was actually blind. <laughs> and we got into bed one night. She reaches over and she says, Les, you got the biggest penis I ever touched. I said, you gotta be pulling my leg. <laughs> And then, and then I had a date with a girl. I'd read about this in all the men's magazines. First time I've ever gone out with somebody. She liked to wear crotchless pantyhose. Anybody here? <laughs> crotchless pantyhose. So she's lying on the bed, waiting for me. I walk in the room. She says, uh, Les, would you like some of this? I said, after seeing what it did to your pantyhose, no thanks. <laughs> Got any grandparents here? Grandparents. Yeah, okay, well, tell you, my, I was watching TV last weekend. My grandson comes over to me. He says, uh, hey, Grandpa, can you make it sound like a frog? I said, yeah, I can make it sound like a frog. Why? He says, because Mom said when you croak, we're all going to Disney World. <laughs> well, you're probably wondering why I have the banjo. And I'm going to get you all involved in a song. And all you have to remember are three words, side by side. When I point to you, you say side by side. That's easy, right? Yeah.